Hello my dear friends Today we are going to make essential oil out of mint This is mint leaves And it will be essential oil of the highest quality because it's made at home With your care and love And in the beginning we will go through the items which we uh, deliver And uh, the first of all we uh, deliver the boiler uh, where you put water, then we have column where you put the raw material the column has the sieve in the top of it and the sieve prevents going uh, of the raw material into the condenser then we fill uh, the column with raw material and close it with the sieve I will show you later how we do it so we have sieve uh, which prevents falling the raw material out of column while uh, distillation process then we have silicon, silicon gasket for joining the pot and the column and we have the clump of course then we have uh, oil separator with separate tube which I will show how to connect and uh, if you want you can ask uh, us for spare uh, tubes because it's glass and it can be broken easily then we have pipette to collect uh, the essential oil the funnel uh, to catch the essential oil which is uh, our hydrosol which gets from the condenser here and uh, we have a 30 milliliter bottle to collect uh, your essential oil we have two tubes to connect with uh, the condenser the lower tube is connected uh, to your water system to cool down uh, the vapor and from upper tube the uh, hot water is coming out so we have two tubes for this and we have adapter which you put in your tap uh, and uh, on the adapter you can uh, put uh, our tubes on and today we will be using a little bit different system of cooling we will use uh, a pump which is not a part of the set uh, and we, use, we will use of course a bucket where you put uh, uh, cold water and we will just pump it through the system and if you wish we can supply you as well a set of bottles we have 30 milliliters bottles and 5 milliliters bottles for those materials which have not that much essential oil and today we will be using as well the extension column which we will fill with the raw material as well to get more essential oil within one batch so let's get started Hello once again, now we will assemble our stills and get ready for distillation. First of all we have to fill up the column with our raw material and we use piece of paper to make a kind of funnel and it's much more easy to fill it. So we have here three small things which will help us to close the column. We put the sieve behind two of them, press the sieve a little bit inside and then pull it to outwards. And then we put the column on the steel. But now we will put the water into the boiler. It can be hot water. Uh, it can be cool water, doesn't matter uh, because I want to make essential oil now I don't fill the boiler fully just uh, 2 liters will be more than enough then I put the silicone gasket on the boiler and then the column on 
and I close it with a clamp. That's it. Now I will be assembling the oil separator. For this I lubricate a little bit with any oil the rubber rings and then making small movements I put the glass on the oil separator and assemble it. It's very easy as you see but you have to be very careful with the glass tube because it can be broken. In case you break it you can order from us another few spare glasses. So that's it. The pump. So we have here regular aquarium pump which pumps 2000 liters per hour. You can get a smaller one. So we put the filter on and then we put the another plastic thing on. And we have a tube which we put on this one using the valve but we will offer a little bit different solution we connect the um, tube with a bigger diameter with a tube of the smaller diameter and then this tube with a smaller diameter will put on condenser and so the cooling system will be working and the pump will, of course we will put in the bucket with cold water so how the cooling system works? The cold water is entering the cooler and goes up and uh, gets the heat from the tubes which are there in the condenser and they are heated uh, from uh, inner side of it uh, by the steam. So the steam is heating the water and the water is cooling the steam. So we put the water, uh, the cold water in here and the uh, hot water which um, gets the um, heat from the uh, vapor gets out. And then from this tube you get the hydrogel or alcohol uh, which is called uh, liquid already. So uh, on this tube uh, we will put another one uh, so we can put uh, if we use the pump then we will put the hot water into the same bucket so one water will be circulating when we feel that the water in the bucket is too hot then we have to stop the process uh, change the water so it should be uh, cold and continue with the distillation So how the cooling system is working in our stills? The, uh, water, the cooling water from your water system or from the pump is entering the condenser or the cooler uh, from down. So you have to connect this tube here. Uh, as the cooling water goes up, it uh, gets uh, heat from the steam which is coming from the column and the steams uh, heats the water and the water, the cooling water, cools down the steam and converts it into the liquid. Uh, so from upper tube we connect it with another one uh, with a silicone tube and we, if you use the pump then you have to put this water back into the bucket so the water can circulate, the same water can circulate and once in a while you can check the water in the bucket and if it reaches 40 degrees or 45 then you have to change so the cooling system will work efficiently. If you use uh, your water system uh, from house then if you want you can use this water to water some flowers or you just put it into the sink. So if you have any questions on how the system is working, you uh, of course can always ask our manager. Now we have installed the whole system. So we put uh, some water into the boiler 
We filled the colon with our raw material, which is mint today. The cooling system is connected. So there is pump, which will be pumping the water into the cooler and the hot water will be going back into the bucket. We don't pump the water now because uh, we put cold water into the boiler and it will take some time till it will be uh, heated. So uh, we put uh, our oil separator, we adjusted the height of the stove with some books, uh, you can find any other solution and we have uh, um, a vessel to collect our hydrosol and let's wait till the water will be boiling and we will get our home quality essential oil so we finished just now first batch of uh, distilling of the mint and because we want to get more essential oil we have to empty the column and fill it with a new raw material. Uh, with the pumping it seems we, that we had to put the bucket on the same level on the table uh, that uh, the steel is on because the pump was not able to pump the water through the cooler but after I put the bucket on the table, it uh, started working uh, efficiently. And now I will show you how to change the content of the column. So uh, you have to switch off your stove first, then you remove the clamp. Of course you have to remove uh, the separator, not to uh, break it. So you remove the clamp, then uh, you take uh, the uh, lower part, uh, the bottom part of the cooler, because it's more cooled, and then you remove the column. Then you have to remove the sieve, and it's really hot, so you have to be careful. Maybe you can put the thumb gloves on, and uh, you remove the sieve and using some uh, stick you can remove the content of the column. Because we want to put more raw material into the clam, we will apply extension and to connect it we put silicone gasket. There is uh, these little things to close the, uh, the column with a sieve, so you have to uh, put it up. So we do it once again. And we close the column in the same fashion. We put the sieve behind these two little things, press it a little bit and pull outside. And then we have, of course, to readjust uh, our steel and the ice. So, as you can see, we put extension here. And we didn't use sieve here in this column, we just put the sieve uh, in the bottom of the extension. So we fill up the whole column and extension with our raw material. 
and we have here approximately one and a half milliliter of essential oil of mint if you look it's really dark because all the small small particles which are there in the column which is uh, so to say dust of the mint is uh, with this, is coming to the essential oil with a steam so what you have to do you um, after, after you finish your distillation process you leave it in the uh, essential oil separator and the dust particles will go down and then you will collect uh, pure essential oil of the mint and is uh, as uh, to what I found in internet if you want to make essential oil out of mint it's better to take semi-dry leaves of this herb and you will get uh, up to four times more than you distill a dry leaves as it is in the case of ours. So that's it and we will be help, ready to help you anytime. Hello once again. So we set up our steel now with extension column which allows us to put more raw material inside the steel and get of course more essential oil. Today we are distilling mint and uh, during the distillation itself I researched a little bit and I found that the dry mint leaves uh, has a much lower essential oil content than a semi-dry so if you want to, to get essential oil out of mint it's better to buy or to grow on your own your mint and dry it a little bit uh, so it will be like uh, semi-dry and put it in the steel. I Me mean, personally I believe uh, that uh, making essential oil at home is kind of uh, art and you have to be creative and uh, to make your own essential oil and uh, do a little bit of research of uh, how much essential oil you can get out of 1 kg of raw material which one would be better to distill dry or semi-dry or raw it always depends on the raw material on herb or what you want to distill and then of course you have plenty of possibilities to apply your essential oil for creams, face pack, aromatherapy uh, for curing some diseases and so on so uh, I invite you to this uh, art and uh, I invite you to create your own artwork and if you have any questions we will be really happy to help you. Thank you.